Okay, almost there, 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 almost there. Let's get the thing. Oh, what the hell? I'm flying. Oh my lord. I didn't expect that. That was completely unexpected. I managed to fly. Guys, I invented the, the jet engine. Hello everybody and welcome back to my little blacksmith shop. My name is Twisted and we are back in our shop right now. We are at 388 copper, which is good to know. I have some more information about the game. So you may know that we were aiming to get 10, but apparently no one asks for 10. Yeah, no one wants to buy. You can sell 10 stuff to people if they are not asking for a specific material. But if they are asking for a specific material, then you cannot sell them tin, but you can sell them bronze. So we're gonna actually be trying to get that. We're gonna make a... Probably gonna go for a bronze hammer and a bronze pickaxe. The quality of our hammer depends on what they ask for. So if you have a copper hammer, they ask for copper stuff. If you have a uh, titanium hammer, they ask for titanium and stuff below titanium sometime, but more rarely. Alright, so... Um, I have also one more thing I want to do. If you remember, like, when we last played the game, uh, let's, I'd say, like, a month and a half, two months ago, we found a hidden chest on the ridge. The chest had a lot of really cool loot, and actually I want to take a crate with me, because I want to go get the chest. There is, you, there was, I think, there was a steel bar in there, which is going to make our life a lot easier. We can just use that to, like, make a dagger, for example, and then we can sell the dagger for a lot of money. That would be amazing. That would actually really, really, really help us out. So we definitely want to go and do that. And also, the Dacius, the developer of the game, left a hint on the game's forums about the uh, Altar of Heroes, which is over there. So you may remember, there we go, you can see it over there in the distance. We tried putting a sword in there, nothing really happened, but he did... He didn't say that something happens, but he did ha say something. He said, uh, the, the quality of the metal does not matter, the only thing that matters is the type of blade grip and guard so that does mean something does happen it's there's definitely something that's going on uh, i think i have to go this way something is gonna happen if we put the right combination in the thing and i've been thinking you know how the alt has those three crystals my guess is if you hit one of the requirements the crystal is going to uh shut off so if we manage to like I'm gonna take several swords in there and I put them all in. If the crystals turned off, that means we got something right. So I definitely wanna actually get two swords, two combinations with different guards and grips. I actually probably wanna get three swords with different guards and grips, different blades. Then we're gonna do a little bit of finagling to try and figure out what is the exact combination. Hopefully I can carry the swords in the crate because it's gonna make my life a lot easier. There is another entrance key. Let's actually quickly go check this out. Leave the crate over here on the floor. Does this do anything? I don't think this does anything right now. I think this is just a little... Hidden secret, right? Yeah, there's nothing over here. It's just the same gate as in the mines. I don't think it does anything right now. Maybe the Sword and Stone opens this gate. I don't know. We have to figure that out. But something definitely does happen. Because if it doesn't happen, then it wouldn't match what you put in, right? That at least is my logic I'm going with here. Alright, so the chest was, I think, not over there, but to the left, right? This little... Yeah, I see it. Okay, there's a chest over there. I don't think there's anything of value for us over here. So I'm gonna just take this. I'm gonna swim all the way to that little coast. And the reason I'm taking the crate because there's more than one item in the chest. And if we don't have the crate, we can only carry one thing with us. Because there's no inventory system in the game right now except for the hammers, axes, and lanterns. Let's actually go and get to the crate. Alrighty, here we are at the chest. Let's see what's inside. Let's try getting it opened up. Move this out of the way, please, for a second there. It's just like get this opened up all the way back. There you go, inside. Oh, baby. Cooled steel, cooled adal- we have adalite, guys. This is like, amazing. If we can get one more adalite somehow, we can make an adalite hammer. And, um, I think the best course of action is actually to make a dagger out of adalite. By the way, uh, people don't ask for pole arms right now. Pole arms are disabled for some reason. So we're gonna make an adalite hammer. Again, if we smelt the adalite into something, and then we turn it back, we still don't lose it. So we can just smelt the adalite into a dagger. And if we need it, we can just smell the dagger down back into an Adelaide ingot. So we're gonna do exactly that, and we're gonna hope that someone tries to buy our dagger. And we're gonna get so much money, and we'll be able to upgrade our tools easily. I think that's gonna be great, because Adelaide is very, very high-end. I like this a lot. 
Okay, I finally managed to get out of the maze that is that lake and we are back in the forest. Hopefully, we can make our way back home. It's like super dark right now because it's nighttime. I do have my lantern up, I can still barely see things. Hopefully, I get back home without any problem. Yeah, there's the altar over there. The crystals are all lit up, so I really am guessing that we have to... Uh, if we get the right, com right item, the, one of the crystals is gonna shut off. Because there's three crystals... And there's three items that consist of a sword. So my guess is we get the right combo. We turn off the crystals and we become rich and amazing. I cannot wait. Okay, so let's take a peek at which guards we have on offer. We have the one hand guard V1. We have the one hand guard V2. We have the one hair guard V3. So we have all three of them, which is lovely and splendid and amazing. So also have a V2 as well. Which is the same as this one, so we don't actually need this one. So we have two V2s, that's good to know. Then we need one hand of grip. I'm gonna try getting like a common grip. Let's try using a common grip on all of them, maybe. I, I guess it was the uncommon grip, because it's better, right? But I'm gonna try I'm gonna try using common ones on these two for now. And I'm gonna buy an uncommon one. We do have some money, might as well spend it. Let's go to uncommon one hand grips. I should use the wooden ones as well. There we go, but I... Have a hunch the wooden one might not do a difference. Do we have any other grips? We do not. Yeah, so that's okay. This one and grips. Let's get it over here. That's the combination. I think like this one is most likely. This one looks the most badass out of all of these. So I'm guessing that is the one. I could be totally wrong though because I have no idea what I'm talking about. All right, so we need we have three swords. We need three blades. So we need to actually like get my lantern out of the way. Let's get sword selected. Of course we. I have to heat this up first, twisted you dummy. Thank you, use your head a bit. It's it's good to use your head sometimes. All right, so we're gonna heat these up. We also have the Adelaide. I do want to make the dagger. Just to have it on display, but I think this is more important right now. This is gonna be an episode focused on trying to figure out the secret of the sword. If we don't figure it out, we're gonna just uh, move along, honestly. And maybe come back to it later on once we have some more hints and ideas. So we have, let's see which ones we have. We have one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, seven blades, eight blades, yeah, eight total blades. I feel tired. That's okay. So I'm, um, um, I mean, honestly, we should go in order, right? Heated copper, regular blade. Let's actually do that. Let's actually go in order. Otherwise, I'm gonna get confused. I'll forget which ones I used and which ones I didn't. Let's actually get them all over here. Uh, get the heated copper ingots again. Make sure we heat this bad boy up. My guess is we're gonna have to use the thick blade. That's my hunch right now. Heated copper regular blade. That's the flat blade. So we're gonna actually use this one as well. I don't think it's this one. I think it's actually one of the ones we already tried before. But it's worth a shot. And I hope I can put the swords in the crate. If I can't, it's gonna be a very big annoyance just getting them all to the altar. But if you do this, and, we, and if you have a thing... Turn off. That means we got something right. There's the split blade. I don't think it's a split blade at all. And it's worth a shot. I think it's the thick blade, but I do want to go in order just in case. Alright, so let's, let's get these aligned. So I'm gonna take a split blade on this one. There we go. Don't get stuck, please. Thank you. I'm gonna take the flat blade with this one. Like that. Awesome. And I'm gonna take the regular blade with this one. Alright, so we have three swords now. This one looks the most promising to me. I'm gonna take them all to, to the altar, but first we should go to bed. Yeah, let's go to bed and then I'm gonna put the swords in the, in the crate and go to the forest. So I'm gonna make one more sword because I have more ingots. Might as well spend all of them and we have like enough for one more as well. I, like honestly, I want to make as many as possible. I have one grip. Let's make, make one more. So let's make four by four. That seems like the best option. So I actually want to mash this thing. We have a total of eight possible combinations, right? I think it was eight combinations. So let's... Unless we have to use a two-hander, which is a possibility. So we're gonna have one, two, three, and this is gonna be the fourth one, which is the thick blade, which I do like a lot. So we're gonna actually use the thick blade over here. I think this is the most likely candidate. And I'm gonna order another uncommon one-handed grip. I have high hopes for this bad boy. I'm gonna take it over here, and we're gonna... Why did you go into the thing, please? I don't like that at all. Go outside. Thank you. And let's get the one hand guard v2, which I think is the most likely candidate for being the right one, because it looks so cool. I'm gonna just take this into the crate. Thankfully, we can keep stuff in the crates, which is good. Just, like, put it inside. This got kind of scary all of a sudden. I don't know why. Why is it so scary? <laughs> it's like we're going to war or something. All right, so that's all of them. Can we just close the lid? Oh, 
it seems to be a bit problematic, huh? Well, that's a thing. Well, okay, you know what? Oh, okay, hold hold on. No, 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 come come to Papa. No, oh god, what have I done? Can I move this sword a little? I cannot, because it's locked. Okay, no, no, can you please open up the lid? Oh, no. No, 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 I don't want this. Hold on, oh god. Oh, no. Uh-oh, I may have made a huge mistake. How do I open up the lid now? I think they got stuck a bit. We can carry it with us, I guess, but this is like keep floating around. I want to just open up the lid. No, oh, I want to open up the lid. Okay, just get it back inside this sword. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, I ruined all my swords. No. Okay, so I managed to salvage this sword, but these guys still seem to be fairly problematic. Is there a way for me to, like, grab them one by one? I think, like, I... Oh, God, what have I done? Oh, I can grab the sword, but... Oh, I can actually move the swords around. Okay, maybe we can, like, get them out here. So I don't think the crates are supposed to hold swords. Uh, they seem to be having some problems with them. Uh, just like get this rotated out of it somehow. Okay, almost there, 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 almost there. Just get the thing. Oh, what the hell? I'm flying! Oh my lord! I didn't expect that. That was completely unexpected. I managed to fly. Guys, I invented the, the jet engine. That was crazy. Where is... My oh, sword is still there. Oh my god, that was actually really scary. Oh my... Okay, actually, I got it to wedge here in the fence. Maybe there's a way for me to open it from here. Right? Like, there's no open button, which is... There's usually always an open button, but there's not one this time. I don't know why. Can we, really like, get this bad boy rotated out somehow? They all rotated ex at around the same axis, which is annoying. We can get him to poke out. We can make this a very, very dangerous crate. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I have a feeling it might help us out a bit. Oh my god, just please... Let me, let me get these swords back. That's all I want. That's all I need. Oh god, it's getting dark again, huh? I didn't do anything today. I just got completely. Oh, oh okay, okay, open, open lid. Open lid, open lid. <gasps> we did it. We did it. Open the lid. Okay, 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 okay. All right. You know what? Don't mess with the crate anymore. I don't. I don't care. Can probably put stuff in the crate and then not close the crate, right? Yeah, that's my guess. We're gonna actually put the stuff in the crate. Let's just try putting the swords in. Can we carry this? No, we just fly out. Alright, so I can I can carry I'm gonna carry these two first. I'm gonna carry these to the to the altar. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna, we can we can get them out if we just rotate them all inside. And don't close the lid. That's a horrible, horrible idea. Never close the lid. There we go. We're gonna just get this over there. We have to carry them one by one, which is really annoying. I hope these things turn off when we got the right combo because if you have to try every single possible sword it's gonna take us 50 years to do anything i need to like make a list of all the swords combinations that i've tried and there's probably gonna be a lot of them because you can do maths on that and get up with a number okay so this should be able to get it out maybe oh no it's completely stuck in the thing even though it's not touching anything no it's fully stuck in the thing now that's horrifying actually really bad for business. Okay, I think our best best co course of action is to actually carry this to the anvil and try to dismantle the things. Otherwise, we're gonna be stuck forever. Okay, can we dismantle this stuff? Please tell me that we can get this over here and just, like, smash it. Oh, that did work. Awesome. Amazing. Okay, it did work. We have the guard back. That's awesome. That's at least something. We have uh, all the parts that are falling out. That's awesome. Just move them around. There we go, they're all coming back to me. Awesome, 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 awesome. So it's gonna be really annoying to get them one by one. Oh my god. Oh, I lost. Don't lose the thing. Don't lose the guard. Just place them on the floor here. We can reassemble things later. Get me this. Oh, okay. This one seems to be stuck completely, huh? Yeah, I think these ones are stuck forever now. Which is kind of frustrating. I don't know how to fix that. I need to try using a blade to wedge it out. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh god, yeah, this is gonna work. It's gonna just be stuck forever. Which is awful, I hate that. I really do, but let's actually... Since we have, like, these blades, that's the normal one. Let's actually take this one, which is, I think, the most likely one. It has the coolest grip and the coolest guard. Let's just go take it over to the altar and see if we can do something with it. If not, we're gonna just leave it there, maybe? I don't know. Again, there's so many combinations. I think we should first we should try all the all the blades with this grip guard combo because I think that's the most likely one. If not, then we just move along and try something else. Also, maybe we need to have the crystals here. Not quite sure about that. So let's try getting this bad boy inside. 
be a bit tricky. It's always a bit tricky to get these inside. But we should be able to do it with a few tries. Alright, the sword is mostly in. Mostly. It's not doing anything. But look, it's still... There's still so much room here, you know? What if there's a crystal here now? Nothing happens, huh? I see the other crystal, but that's about it. So this is not the right sword combination. There's a blood moon here. Why is the moon so red? That's so scary. I don't want the moon to be red at all. That's not what I like. Yeah, so maybe like we can wedge it a bit better. But I don't think that's the case, right? Just gotta... Yeah, it just like goes in. It does nothing. I think it's too thin. I think we need to get the thicker one. Which might be a bit better, right? Yeah, so let's actually take this one. Let's head... Let's, um... Maybe we also have to have all the crystals in in in, uh, in there, but it's gonna be more simple, much more simple for me. I'm gonna just take the sword back, and we're gonna craft. We have, we're gonna buy probably another uncommon one hand grip. We have the guard that we want. It's gonna be okay. More scary music. Why is the music so scary in this game today? Yeah, give me the lantern out. We have this sword over here, and we are gonna need. But the laser are kind of everything's so scary. All of a sudden, everything's scaring me a bit. Shop is closed still, so we actually want to buy... Go over here, want to get an uncommon one-hand grip, yeah? Yeah. And we have the blade that we need, so we have a cool thick blade. I think the thick blade is the most likely one to succeed, because it's thick. And that one is not the right one. I mean, maybe it is, but with the other... What? What is that? Do you see that? We did something! Oh my god. We did something, guys. Holy cannoli. It's gone! It... Did we do it? Was that the right combination? You saw so something happened. That's crazy, right? You saw that. There was like a, like a ghost and a crystal in the air and, and stuff and, 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 and whatnot. Oh my god. What is that over there? There's something glowing in the distance. I think there's uh, this lamp. We did something, though. Did... I... I have no idea. That was really, really weird. Maybe we did get the wrong combination? Maybe we are on the right track. Can we get... Oh, we can still gonna get this on... Gag! They're completely stuck onto the thing. Alright, let's... I think we are on the right track. That's gotta be a hint, right? That we are on the right track. Let's get this card over here. Give me the stuff we just got over here. Uncommon one hand grip. Go, 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 go. Get them all over here. Take blade. There we go. Maybe it's a two-handed blade. We need to get a two-hander. Oh, it's... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm just, like so confused right now. Did we do something right? Was that just a coincidence? There, there was a crystal floating there. I saw it. It was the light crystal, which we haven't found yet. So may maybe that's how we get it. We get the right sword. Maybe, maybe, maybe this means that we were close, right? Because maybe we got one item correct. And it actually like spawned something. I have no idea. Let's try this again. I, I, I'm like my theory that crystals will uh, shut off when you have a right sword piece may not be correct. I should have actually carried a different uh, grip and grip and guard combo because it obviously didn't. They didn't turn off. So since there's only three grips and three guards, I can easily get the the right answer very quickly. Okay, give me this in his side here, please. Thank you. Oh no, this is always so tricky. All right, we seem to be getting it in. It's not actually going in that well. It's just staying on top. The other one went deeper, right? It's just getting stuck, I think. You just gotta like try to figure it out how to get the it a bit closer like that. Maybe we didn't get it deep enough. Maybe we need a two-hander combo. Because, I mean, it's like this slot is big enough for a two-hander. But also, like I think this over here is a hint. This is the right grip. See how it has the little triangle here? That might be a hint that this is the, the right right call for us here, but I, I don't know. Maybe there's like more grips we haven't seen yet. If nothing happens with this sword. I'm kind of tempted to try two-handers from now on. Not quite sure if that's the right call. Maybe we need to have all four crystals. These are not lighting up. Maybe we need to have like a dark crystal and they will like turn off. I mean, this is got a bit, right? There's three things. Okay, let's actually try a two-hander as well. Or maybe just not any of the right combos. Let's take a let's take a sword that has completely different uh, a completely different setup. 
without any of the same grips or or handles. Okay, so these are the two ones we use so far. They're very, very similar. This is going to be the third one we're going to give a go. I'm going to also get a fourth one as well. But I want to see before I do anything else. I want to actually take... I want to heat up the ingots here. I want to take the copper and try looking at the two-handed swords. Do we have a two-handed blade already made? We actually do. So actually, let's, let's take this one. That's a thick blade. Why can't I move this? I can't. Okay, never mind. Just like get the blade over here. Just don't make a new one. Just heat this one up. We can try smelting and see what we have. If we have a blade that seems like it's gonna fit, that's gonna be great. But we already tried this this blade. It's heated now, awesome. Let's give it a go. To have like this one and this one. I'd like this one is more likely, but it's so deep. That one is not that, this one can be the one, right? That would be so silly. Large flat blade. But it has potential. Large framed blade. I mean, this little one looks so bad, but I already tried that one like a long time ago, right? I never tried this one, I think. I'm willing to give this one a go, honestly. Let's make let's make this one. Let's try. Let's first take out the one hander. Oh God, no! Don't you dare do that. No, come back. Yeah, okay, seventh floor. We need a two-handed grip. We only have common ones. Let's get some two-handed. Two-hand. Grips uncommon ones. They're kind of expensive, but I don't really care. And if you go back, if you go to guards There's only one type of two-hand guard. So I, I don't think it's a two-hander because There's only one two-handed guard, right? So it wouldn't make any difference which one we were using So if you take this and none of the lights light up It means either the light theory is not correct or It has nothing to do Looks so promising, though. Let's th let's take this one first. Let's take the big one first. I'm gonna take the smaller one after that, because if not, not lights light up, either this is not the right sword or my light here is incorrect. Okay, here we go. This should not be that difficult, but it's gonna be a pain. I can see it already. These things are always a pain. Don't actually lose the crystal. That's something to keep in mind. Don't want to lose the crystal by accident. So just get this one. And this is like so annoying every single time. And then I like. Get all down here. Try to get it in the hole. Oh, but it's like doesn't want to fit at all is the problem. Like it's so hard to get it right. You know what? Looking at this, what if you have to use a flat blade? Because the bottom of here is flat, right? Maybe we need to use a. Maybe that's a hint. Maybe we need to use the flat blade. We had a big flat blade on offer for the two handers. Why am I going back? I I wasn't. Where did my sword go? Okay, there, it's here. So I'm I come tend to just go back. And switch this to a two-hander. Because this one obviously does not fit. It seems to be too thick or something. I'm going to give it a few more tries, but I don't think we're going to get it anywhere close to the inside of the altar. Yeah, I don't think this is the one. I'm going to go back, re-smelt it into the flat blade, give it another go. Although I don't think it's going to fit. And we're going to go back to using one-handers. Because I don't think two-handers fit at all. I think they are just way too bulky to actually get inside the hole. Okay, here's our brand new two-handed sword with a flat blade. Gonna give this a go. I don't have high hopes, but maybe it's gonna do something. Alright, here we are. I can't seem to get it in any more than this, which is like nothing. We just get it over there, it's just gonna fall down. Oh god, that was dangerous. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna do anything whatsoever. Just does not wanna go inside, just like stays here forever, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Yeah, it just goes all the way. Alright, so let's actually go back. Let's use a one-hander. I want to try... There's like two grips and two guards we haven't tried yet. I want to use all of them in this video. And see if something lights, if something shuts down, that means we're on the right track. Alright, here's the other sword. Let's go give it a go, shall we? I'm going to take this. Now put it inside if you can get it to go inside. It's always so tricky. Maybe I like, already had the recommendation, but I never managed to get it inside properly because it's so hard to get these swords in. They're like, it's it's so hard to see where they're actually gonna fall, which is a problem. But I think that's like fairly pointing down. Now let's just get over here a little bit closer. Oh, we had it. Almost had it. Almost had it there. So this is gonna be in the hole, right? And just want to go in. Just like get it. In the, in the rock here. Just try getting it in the rock completely. Getting dark again. Alright, you gotta like get a light. Why are you beeping? Don't beep at me! Okay, so we got the sword inside. It went all the way down. 
nothing happened. So none of these turned off right now. Which is kind of disappointing. Do we have to use the crystal on it? Fear crystal. Nothing happens. We can just try budging it around, but nothing actually really happens. So that's okay. So I don't think this is the right combo anyways. I've never had faith in this blade uh, either. So let's just go back home. We have one more. I mean, we could maybe use the wooden grip. Although that seems so unlikely. But it's worth a shot, I guess. Alright, our last attempt for today. If this doesn't work out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go mine a bunch of copper, get, like, make one of each blade, have one of each, uh, have one of each grip, one of each guard, and then just go through all the sword. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like six times three times, no, it's, it's eight, right? Eight, eight blades. So it's three times three, which is nine, times eight, which is 72 swords. Really? I'm gonna go to, through 72 swords to just get the secret? That's oh, gonna take me so long, but we can do it. We can do it. Oh boy, okay, that did not do anything. But the thing is, if we have to have all the crystals, maybe, like, they don't do anything unless we have all the crystals. That's also a possibility. Then I'm just making a big mistake. All right, this one is, like, almost in. Oh, it's all the way in. All right, it's all the way in. None of these crystals over here turned off, which is telling me either my theory is incorrect or we need to get a grip or a guard that is not available from the shop. Because I did, I used every single grip that existed exists in the game, except I didn't use the two-handed combos. Maybe we need to use a two-handed grip and a two-handed uh, handle with a one-handed sword. That's a point. You can, you can do that. You can make those, but I don't think that would be very likely as a solution here. Yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna actually just end this one here. Uh, thank you all very much for watching another video of my little blacksmith shop. If you have any ideas, any hints, any tips that you could try. To make this work, let me know. Next time, we're gonna continue with more money making because we now have a lot of very cool things. We have Adelite and Steel. We can make those into daggers, sell them for a lot of money, and just upgrade our game quite a lot. But yeah, I'm gonna just end this one here. Thank you all very much for watching. My name has been Twisted from High Money Games. Now we'll see you next time.